Hello bag inhalers. Welcome to, I guess it's a review. I'm not really sure what it is. It's a mod called Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now, yes. And yes, so these are all items inside of this mod and they do some pretty interesting features. And these different features of the game are all a part the aesthetic and terminology of the survival mechanic and surviving and all that stuff. Okay, so we'll start, we'll go, we'll go clockwise like this, and then, so we'll start here. This is a pack of canned corn. I, I get 64, and I, stupid me, I have this crafting table right here. And you want to put it all in a whole thing right there. There it is, it's a canned corn, so survival, you want to group a bunch of food together, yada, yada, yada. I'm, it, it speaks for itself. Like, you go to the store and you get a pack of soda, 12-pack like I did today. Alright, so this is a body bag, Halloween map, sci-fi map, or if you want to make a morgue or some shit, uh, here, here you go. Here, here is literally a dead body on a table from a, another furniture, which is a completely different, but just to get the point across. I, had, I originally was going to put some items in here to display some of the different stuff in the mod, but I can just show you right here. So there is a ton, a ton of melee weapons. And, and there's a, I think there's a few throwing weapons. You get these from going into different structures. And same with the weapons and armory. They're basically in the same thing, but you, I think you can. Yeah, you got Kevlar and you craft that through this component right here and as you can see you got a wide variety of completely different stuff ranging from the military to tactical hazmat suits and untraditional ways of protection and then you have all your foods that you can find as well uh, some of them you can't craft i think some of them you can craft uh i, I guess you can craft this it, i will display now this is spike log so if you have a mob that's chasing you or you want to sh shove it into the wall or something they get hit by this ah bleeding it's raining like every two seconds thankfully i i can disable it when i want to okay i think these keep out mobs and stuff pretty self-explanatory uh i can't see what the uses of this unless you're using it for decorational purposes uh, same with money unless you can trade with some of the survivors which i'm pretty sure there are survivor oh there's cannibals too great but you have a million million different zombie variants and but you can also spawn it has some use to it um you got a bear trap right here let's um let's let's show you the animation for this yeah, so it traps you there traps you there for like a good good minute run very painful and i'm not sure if it goes back to its original initial position it probably does and i, I wouldn't see why it what wouldn't all right so now we got a vent for your more industrious builds and crawl if you have command on crawl or another crawling mod so it would make the functionality of these workable broken tv just basically for decoration looks cool but does nothing else same with tires i don't they don't have cars in this mod so i don't really see the entire use of pile of tires but hey you know you want a, a dump or something and you need all that for your build there you go electric fence i'm gonna get zippity zapped i'm being i'm being electrocuted all right okay so this one's interesting it's, it's a leaves trap and when you go You've probably played survival craft. It has a mechanism exactly like this. And you go into it and you fall down. That's good to trap enemies, animals, whatever. And they can't get out of here. So that'll be good. And for the next one, we got two different types of spike. Regular spikes, which are smaller. And then we got the oak log spike and other variant tree spikes. And you fall on these and you get hurt pretty badly. So don't get hurt by them. And, okay, so for this, say you have a, a wall barrier or something and spiders are trying to crawl up it. You know, they get hit by barbed wire and stuff. That's pretty cool. Essentially the same as that chest over there. 
a bit different. More like a barrel, actually. Uh, this is a cross for your graveyard builds. Uh, explosive barrel. I'm not even going to try to light this, but it's a much larger explosion, I think, than TNT is. Uh, and then you got save. I wish it had like a code that you could put in that would actually make it functionally different than it just being a, a different skin of no crate right here. Same with the locker, although there is a different distribution and table of how many items that can be fit. This one has, so 35 different items can be fit into these and a total of 105 different stuff right here. So now we got iron plate and I think these just add as additional structure. I don't know what else they do, but they can prevent fires, I believe, and they prevent stuff from getting destroyed. So if you have like TNT or a barrel like this, I, st I still don't recommend it. Your chances are higher. Metal bars, pretty cool stuff. And, uh, and all that, maybe we'll actually, oh my God, fuck off. I swear that the sky god has a urinary tract infection because like Jesus, man. Okay. Uh, chainsaw. I believe this works. I, I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I wish it had a, a sound. I mean, whatever, man. Oh, I'm bleeding. I am bleeding. The, the weapons aren't totally that special. They're just different re-sprites, but the cool thing about them is you can, they're pretty easy to craft. Rolling pin, self-explanatory, wooden hammer. I don't know how you get glue. Okay, slime's probably a bit hard to get. No, the, the recipes and all that. So this is a review of the aesthetics. I like to review different aesthetic aspects of mods and vanity aspect of building. Say, hey, this looks good for building. I do mods specifically. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and uh, share it with your friends and let me know what you think. And if there's a specific mod that you want me to review, just type it down to me in the comments and I will do it later. I'll see you all in the next video and have a good rest of your day. Bye.